All right, so it's been a little while since I published a video. Been doing some holiday sharing with family. Was gone for a week at the beach. Stella had, Stella right there, had a good time chasing seals, sea lions, seabirds, seagulls, anything to do with the ocean. Probably oysters and starfish too. And we are back at the shop and we are working where we left off. We were working on this 1992 Mazda AZ-1, or how it's better known as Autozam. That's right. And this car uh, has been recently purchased by a good customer of mine and had a pretty spectacular head gasket blowout. At least that's what we think. Um, all the coolant mixed with the oil, and he said there was a huge cloud of debris following the car. Uh, not mechanical debris, just smoke and um, steam, that type of thing. So um, we went over in the prior video how difficult this engine is to get at because of the mid-engine design. You can see the top of the head is right up against the back window, which is the package tray, and you've got basically a window to work through. And I looked at this for a long time and thought I could snake that head out the window, but that's not going to happen. So I've disconnected everything under the engine compartment, and we're going to lift her off. We've got the whole front, uh, sorry, rear subframe sitting on a engine cart or one of those little carts with the board on it. It's completely flat, and we're going to lift her up and see what happens. So. It's, you're going to witness with me as she drops away. Hopefully it comes out smooth. Whoop, I never like to hear a clunk. Something gets caught. Yeah, I think we're free. So the shocks had to be disconnected. The brake lines had to be disconnected. Uh, some of the motor mounts, clutch cable, uh, shifter cables, oh, a lot of coolant lines, and uh, throttle cable, of course. And it looks like I still have to do this vacuum line here. Unknown to the customer who bought this car, this car has been raced, um, and I think quite competitively. Uh, it has a limited slip. It has all kinds of boost controller and blow-off valve uh, modifications, most of which have been um, basically abandoned. In other words, they've been disconnected and abandoned. I've got to put that back there. Um, so it's kind of a bummer, um, and I think that contributed to the head gasket blowing on his cruise, probably on the caravan to Concorso. I think it blew up, um, which is a bummer. Um, but it does have a lot of goodies, uh, racing tires, bushings, like I said, limited slip differential, a lot of hard parts, huge sway bars, huge ones, stainless steel brake lines, special brake pads. Um, I don't know if anything internal has been done to the engine. It looks like the engine's been apart before. Uh, we're going to take it out more now, make sure it's not stuck on something. Let's lift it up a little more and see if it comes out. Of course, something's hung up on that side. Oh, it's on the lift. Okay, I gotta adjust the lift, and um, the lift arm here is caught on the subframe. Let me get back to you in a sec. Okay, so we got the lift arm off of the suspension, or I should say the, the um, cradle, and I found a coolant hose that, of course, leaked all over my floor that I hadn't disconnected, and we should be free. Let's lift this thing up and separate the rear suspension, transmission, drive lines engine from the car. I'm just going to make sure there's nothing else. Of course, there is something that's caught there. It's not supposed to be. Okay, let's try this again. separation. 
So what we have here is a Suzuki engine. It's three cylinder, it's turbocharged, it's 660 cc's with a blown head gasket. This is gonna be a lot easier to work on, specifically right here in the timing belt area. I could not get anywhere near this in the car. So that's gonna be nice. Uh, again, it's a twin cam, so it would be 12 valve. That would be four valves per cylinder, three valves. And it has a tiny, tiny, tiny little turbo on there, right here, with a tiny little inlet right there. And it's gonna be pretty fun. I will uh, keep you apprised as things come along, and I gotta grab that phone. All right, so we have got our power plant out of the AZ-1. It's a cute little thing. Again, I think I already explained, it's a three cylinder, turbocharged, 660 cc's. I'm excited to get this thing apart, but I needed to get it available. In other words, it could not be done in there. It has to be done here. And what's really funny is there's another guy if you haven't already seen his channel, uh, his name is Tom, Tom's Turbo Garage, and he's doing a clutch on one of these, I believe, at this time. Um, same type of thing. The whole subframe's got to come apart to get the transmission out. Um, so it might be a good idea to clutch at this time, but I will talk with the customer and see. Right now we're focused on doing the head gasket, so let's get this thing tore apart. It's still going to be a while, uh, even though it seems like it's taken forever to get this out of there it's going to be another couple hours before i get the head off for sure so a lot of the bolts are really rusted especially around the turbo area uh, being this a 92 i just don't want to break a bunch of stuff so i've got to go easy but like that bolt there it's exhaust manifold bolt and that one there those do not look uh they do not look like they're gonna come off easy so we're not going to break stuff take our time and do it right all right thanks for watching and thanks for staying tuned. Stella is resting in the last bits of sun here in December. And we're going to get this car back on the road. Hopefully, hopefully not too long. All right. Well, uh, check me out again. And feel free to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of weird, odd car stuff, mostly micro car related. And I really enjoy it. It's my passion. So uh, share my passion with me and, and uh, become a subscriber. You might learn something. All right. Have a great day. We'll see you.